You could say it's been a roller coaster. For those that have inspired me to continue and carry the legacy, I'm pretty sure it has been the same for them. My name is Daniel, and I'm a youth leader. I've been a youth leader for around two or three years. Before becoming a youth leader, I was one of many kids that were a part of our church's youth group. Like many kids who turn into teenagers and then to adults, I matured through many trials and testings. As I got older, I found that one of my passions to lead young people and inspire them like the youth leaders that guided and encouraged me when I was young. As cliche as it sounds, I was on fire for God. In reality, it was a first of many tests. The test of my passion was genuine or not. It needed to endure fire, so to speak. It says in the Bible, the fire will test it and show its real quality. I had the notion in my mind that to become a youth leader, you had to be noticed by the leaders of the church. I thought through my hard work, I would be put in that position earlier rather than later. Opportunities to step up and be a leader presented themselves to me, but I let them pass me by. As the years of missed opportunities passed on, I believe I would leave the days of youth behind and resort to just be a normal adult in the ministry. But then two individuals were later appointed as leaders in the youth ministry. They may have been reluctant to take on the position, but it was their love for youth, not just for their own children, that pushed them along. But it would seem impossible for two people to take on leading the two dozen or so young people we had in the church. So they recruited the most diligent and hardworking people they knew. One of them happened to be me. Like them, I was reluctant, having thought this point in my life was over, but it was only just beginning. I soon realized that the reason why I didn't become a youth leader back then was because I wasn't ready. Now that I've been one of the leaders of the youth for a good two years or so, I've experienced much of the struggles the youth leaders before me went through. From rejection, conflicts between youth, to people not listening during a lesson, I've experienced it firsthand. But it's not the end of my journey and there's definitely much more obstacles along the way. But without those obstacles, our church, not just our youth ministry, wouldn't have become what it is now today. In fact, my church actually started because of youth leaders. Our church's senior pastors were the youth leaders themselves. And like me, they faced somewhat unconquerable obstacles that tested them and threatened them to give up. But they endured and the same drive and determination inspired the next generation and so on. My goal is to, like others before me, guide my younger brothers and sisters to become the best individuals they can be, and encourage them, if they are willing, to become youth leaders themselves. I realize now that leading the youth is a team effort, and to really relate to each person is to be selfless. I cannot boast for the impact we as a team has made on our youth. As long as there are people who are role models to young people, there will be youth who will look up to these people. I want to, through humility, be transparent to those who look up to me. And as soon as these young people are ready, we will hand off the legacy to them. Thank you.